what's going on family it's your backyard gardener at it again in the garden I am harvesting some things today uh, by force and some of them because they are ready uh, we've been getting a lot of rain as I said before in previous videos in Michigan and it has really been taking a toll with the weeds so we're constantly pulling weeds and we're constantly checking out plants and some things is getting powdery mildew and different diseases and one of the things that got a disease was my um, honeydew melon back there that I had in that bed right there so I pulled the whole vine up because the vine was just um, getting real diseased I harvest a lot of cucumbers, straight eight, marky moors, and those are some of the honeydew melons. Some of those are not ready, um, but I do have a use for them. That's why I'm going to keep them. Uh, we're supposed to get another thunderstorm tonight. Rain, rain, rain. I'm going to also harvest these straight eight. Um, Strike, I'm sorry, strike bush beans. And what I love about these bush beans is they're delicious. They don't have that string on them. And they're very productive. So I'm going to pour the whole plant. And I'm going to harvest them. Before I do that, I just want to give you a look at uh, my watermelon patch. It's doing great. I won't know exactly how many watermelons are in there until I can get these straight eights out of here. I mean, I'm sorry, these uh, striped bush beans out of here and clean this bed out. But they're doing really, really good. As you can see over here, the peaches is almost ready. I think Saturday we're going to start harvesting them. Um, when you walk by, you can smell the peaches. And that's such a... <laughs> A wonderful smell over here and I know that things are ready because the birds is really hanging out thick over here and the squirrel so I'm gonna get to them before they get to them over here the orchard is doing well the bees are doing well so let me pull these up and I'm gonna show you what I have with my strikes 45 days from seed to harvest these were in a much much longer than 45 days all I do is I pull the whole plant up just like so lay it over there pull another plant and another plant the whole plant up right there Let's see. Here's another one. I'm going to pour this whole bed and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the plants. And we're going to start pulling them off the, the um, vine. Pulling these vines up is so easy. Even my grandboys can do it. That's all of them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you pull your vines up. You get you a shady spot. And all you got to do is start picking your beans right off the bat just like so and when I tell you these beans are absolutely delicious they are absolutely delicious strike bush beans I've been growing them for the past eight years delicious I'm going to pull them all off the vine and I'll be back to show you what I got y'all I was trying to do this video and I came across my very 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 first tomato hornworm and when I tell you I almost lost <laughs> everything because <laughs> I almost touched them where the other one? Right here. There go another one right there. Point to him, Jada. Right here and right there. 
and the other one is right there. Oh my God, this is my first time ever. And this has been my biggest fear is coming across one of these things. I don't even know what to do with them. I ain't trying to do nothing. I don't have no chickens to feed them to. But I'm about to encourage my grandson and my son <laughs> to get them. You do it. Oh my God! Cause you're the nastiest and one. And he is big. They are big, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> and I was touching on this plant. Okay, let me get to the harvest. This, this is what I, what I got for my strikes, and my cucumbers. And like I said, some of these is not right, but I have a plan to use them as a bait. This is your backyard gardener. I'm all freaked out now, y'all. Saying happy gardening, everybody. Daddy.